from my iman was so crushed is because Allah loved you, bro. Or Allah loved you and he wanted you to create, have those awakenings, right? Like myself, years ago, I went through like, oh my God, it was one of the most humiliating, humili humiliating episodes of my life. Like it was so, it was so dark. It was so dark that I, yeah, I'm not going to say, but I was in a very dark place. And it was so humiliating. But wallahi, I am telling you, looking back, and maybe on the day of judgment, I'm going to say to Allah, maybe I wish that to happen a thousand times to me. Because I'm telling you, if that didn't happen to me, may, I was probably on a tra trajectory that would have basically destroyed myself and destroyed the Tao. And I'm looking back, although it was one of the most darkest episodes of my life, right? Really dark, yeah? Like, it was really, it was, it was quite dark. Um, and I was really down. And, but looking back, if that didn't happen to me, because, you know, everyone's different. Sometimes a scholar would, would teach you and train you and help you. Sometimes it will be people around you. But for some people, Allah has to be the one giving you the tarbiyah. <laughs> and, uh, for someone as egotistical as me, I think uh, maybe, you know, it, Allah just basically just put me into place. Uh, and that is what is, you know, and the reason I'm mentioning this is not just to show that, look, oh, you know, I've had these experiences too. No, well, that's one of the reasons. But th the main reason is to show that, you know, when you look at your trauma, when you look at negative experiences, uh, sometimes those experiences, especially if you have good good opinion of Allah you have husn adhan billah you have good opinion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you want to come close to Allah and uh, those experiences when you look back were probably the best thing that ever happened to you um, so things like low iman things like humiliation things like whatever it could be stand in the possibility that the meaning you're giving to giving it is not the meaning that Allah wants you to give it because when you have any trauma in life and I know it's very easy to say because we're relatively have easy lives but when you have any trauma whether it's a small t trauma or a big t trauma one of the ways of dealing with your trauma is to stand in the possibility that the meaning you're giving it is not the meaning Allah wants you to give it and that can only happen really if you have husnadan billah if you have good opinion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we know that the way we react to these tests in life is a sign of his his love or a sign of his, you know, that he's trying to wake you up. Um, so we have to react in the most appropriate way and give it the right meaning. And we see this with, you know, Surah Duha, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, like, you know, when you, you know, we guided you, you were an orphan and we took care of you. So Allah is giving the correct meaning to those past events to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Similarly, you know, uh, when he's talking about Musa alayhi salam and talking about, you know, who inspired your mother to put you in the river and so on and so forth. So Allah is giving the correct meaning to these events in order to create a state of being from the person, in this case, the Prophet Sam, Musa alayhi salam, in order for them to move forward in a positive way. So likewise, what we need to do is try and stand in the possibility that the meaning that we're giving our trauma or negative experiences is actually not, because I, I hit low, man. I was like, you know, I was like, yeah, I, I was like, you know, Allah doesn't love me or Allah doesn't want me to do the dawah or, you know, you know, everything I've done has maybe has been because it's, this, it's, it's all wasted. There's no sincerity in my dawah. I, I hit low, man. I hit low. <laughs> if you don't, if, if you feel comfortable sharing it, is it after Islam? Yeah, and no, I was Muslim, bro. Mm. I was Muslim. I hit up. What are you talking about? This was not, this was not like a Jahiliya thing. No, no, I hit really low, bro. It was, it was, yeah, absolutely. It was, mm. you know, and you know, all credit to my family, my wife picking me up, you know. And, you know, when people see me on social media, they think, nah, how am I going to go through stuff like that? Well, I did. And, you know, it happens to everybody, right? Um, and I definitely needed it. Absolutely. I don't think I would have been able to manage IRA or help manage Sapiens Institute or really try and focus on other people in the Dawa if I didn't go through that humiliating experience. Um, and it was one of the best things that probably ever happened to me from that perspective. And maybe, maybe, maybe more is coming and more other, you know, may Allah protect us, but you know, you know, you always have good opinion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I remember once God is saying this to me, I were walking near my house uh, in, in the hilly part on the grass, 
may Allah bless the Sheikh. He said to me, listen, Hamza, you know, maybe some, something like this. On the day of judgment, you're going to wish that this happened to you a thousand times. Um, and he talked to me about his own experiences as well, that he had a very tough experience in, with regards to, you know, a relationship with the brother in terms of the, it was to do with, I don't know, business or something. And that really affected him and people spoke and, you know, that you know, there was humiliation there and, and this, that and the other. But those are things for you to grow. You know, if you always have a good opinion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even if you think you deserved it, you know that, even if you think you deserved this kind of wake up call or you deserved it because of your sins or your ego, your arrogance, never give up hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Never give up the kind of good opinion you have of Allah. Because even if you did deserve it, then Allah is taking care of you. He's trying to wake you up. He's trying to say, look, I'm doing this to you because you need it. If you don't have this, you're not going to have the correct state. You're not going to change your state of being to come closer to me. So my love for you is that I'm giving you this humiliation. I'm giving you this event. I'm giving you this trauma in order for you to elevate yourself. And you're going to realize that later. But have a good opinion of me. So I think one of the basis of keeping your iman is always have a good opinion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Always. Um, I think Ibn Taymiyyah said, said something of, 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 of the similar uh, similar lines about, you know, you know, I think those who leave the deen or those who, you know, leave the deen is because the basis of it was they didn't have a good opinion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's very important. Yeah. Always have husn al And you're going to see, even now, you guys might be young. I don't know how old you are, but look back, just try and connect some of the dots. And you were like, yep, 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 yep. Right. Mm -hmm.